वेलकम एवरीबडी आई एम पीयूष शर्मा एंड आई एल बी योर ट्रेनर फॉर दिस एंटायर सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ वी कैन ऑटोमेट द नेटवर्किंग स्टफ विद द पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज माई फ्रेंड दिस सीरीज विल बी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग फॉर यू एज वी आर गोइंग टू बिल्ड सम ऑफ द नेटवर्किंग एप्स एट द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू हाउ नेटवर्किंग एप्स कैन हेल्प यू इन योर डे टू डे एक्टिविटी In this video series we are going to learn why python is important for a network engineer how you can install python on windows machine and mac machine and what are different data types that are available in the python programming language like integer float dictionary tuple set list then further we will learn the condition and loops in condition you are going to learn how you can use if and else statement and in loop you are going to learn for loop and while loop further we will move on file operation and on file operation you are going to read from a file write to a file and how you can append to a file and further we will learn function and object oriented pro programming in the python programming language further in this video series we are going to create some project in project number 1 we are going to create a app that can automatically take backup from the networking device and then saves the configuration onto a folder in project number 2 we are going to create a app that takes the checks the cpu utilization and plots the graph in project number 3 we are going to create a app that collects the output based on show cdp neighbor then create network topology Let's start with the demo of project number one, that is automating the backup. Let's understand the topology for our project. I am having three router, R1, R2, and R3. They are connected through a switch, and my machine is also connected to the same switch. All of the router and my machine is connected onto the VLAN number one. The IP address for router one is two hundred dot ten. R2 200.20 and R3 200.30 and switch 200.40. My machine is at 200.1. I have configured the username and password for the router and switches as username Cisco, password Cisco and enable password is all also Cisco. Now let me go to my app folder. This is my Python program file and this is IP address file. Okay. in this file what you can do you can write the ip address over here like i have written 200.10 that is for r1 200.20 that is for r2 230 that is for r3 and 240 for the switch my machine is having ip address 200.1 let me verify if config this is my ip address let me check the reachability to the devices 192.168.200.10 for the router is it uh, this is reachable 20 is also reachable 30 and 40 for the switch all of the devices are reachable through my machine now let me run my app so for running my app i will type python and the name of the program file i have already feeded the username password and the enable password in in this file now let's check what it does so it's connecting to the 200.10 now it is giving the output as that connection is successful now it is connecting to 200.20 then it will connect to 200.30 that is r3 now it is connecting to the switch the same ip address that i have written on that ip address file it is collecting the backup and it will save onto the folder it is sho showing that program executed successfully and please check the folder backup then 1405 is the date and this is the time okay
Now let me go to that folder in which my Python script was stored. So you can see over here a folder with the name of backup and date and time is created. Now let me open that folder. You can see four file is four file are created. Let me open this file. So you can see this is the backup of router R1. Now let me open 200.20. So you can see this is the backup of router R2. This is the backup of router R3. And this is the backup of the switch. So now you have seen Python script automatically took the backup of networking devices. What is the benefit of it? The main thing is that in traditional way you have to go every single device, you have to have a TFTP server, then you run a command copy running config TFTP, then it collects the backup. But that is a very lengthy process. Let's say if your network is having around 50, 60 and more than the more than that, then every single device you have to do the same process. But using Python script, you just need to type the IP address on the IP address file. Then it automatically take the backup. And what you can do, you can schedule this python script in the task scheduler so that it can automatically run on that particular date and time so you don't have to worry when you have to take up the backup when you don't how frequently you take the backup you just need to schedule that python script using task scheduler now i will show you demo of project 2 that is cpu utilization this help will collect CPU utilization information of the device and plot the graph of it. Let's see. This is my folder in which this is the script file. This is the same IP address file. This is containing the IP address of router 1, router 2, router 3 and the switch. Okay. Now let me go to the terminal and run the Python program. Let's check what happened. So my program is a starting. It is collecting the information of device 200.10 that is of router R1. Now it will collect R2. Then it will collect the information from R3 and then from the switch. Let's check. So connection is successful and it has collected the required information. So it is showing that average CPU utilization of network is 5.25. Now it is creating the graphs. So you have seen that the graph is plotted on the screen. It is showing that the device 200.10 that is router R1 is having around 1% util utilization. 200.20 is also same, 200.30 is also same, but the switch is having higher CPU utilization around 17.5%. So now you have seen this help will help you to check which device is having higher CPU utilization and you need to check that device on priority. Now I will show you demo of project number 3 that is creating topology. Now I will move to my app folder. This is my Python script and by the help of this script we will able to create topology. So this is very interesting app that will collect the information based on show cdp neighbor command and then plot the topology. Let me show you a demo of I type python then the script name it is asking for the ip address of the device i will say the ip address of switch that is 200.40 what is the username cisco what is the password cisco 
it is asking for the re-enter of password let me type Cisco it is giving me message that password is accepted now now I will type enable password that is also Cisco so now it is connecting to the device and collecting the CDP information and then it will create the topology now you have seen it is giving the message so it automatically open the browser and now you can see the topology so there is a switch by the switch router R1 is connected R2 is connected and R3 is connected and once you move to the in link it will show you at which interface it is connected okay and once you move over to the de device it will show you the product ID as it is showing so now this elf will help you creating topology what is the benefit of it most of the time network engineer troubleshoot the issue they always use short CDP neighbor command then they have to manually create topology based on that so now this help will help the network engineer who used to troubleshoot the issue now I have shown you demo of Python networking project I hope now you have some idea why Python is important for network engineer I will see you in next video and thanks for watching